As I promised, here is part two of the comic book market watch for the month of November. In the previous video, we took some time to look at the overall comic market. And what I mean by that is specifically new comics, new graphic novels, new toys that were being distributed by Diamond. And in this episode or this, this update, we are going to add some texture and some context to that previous video. And we're specifically going to look at the top 50 comics, the top 50 graphic novels in terms of units shipped by Diamond. So this video is very much complementary to the previous video. If you haven't seen that video, you may want to watch this one and then go back and watch that one. If you've seen that video, this will be complementary to what you've already been exposed to. There are a couple of things to keep in mind as you look at these market watch videos is that this data by and large is for guidance, right? These are not absolute numbers. They are, they are guidance numbers in terms of units that have been uh, distributed by Diamond. Now, that doesn't mean that these books have all been sold, right? Because not everything that is shipped by Diamond to a local comic shop is actually sold. So in some respects, you can actually discount uh, these totals by 5 to 20%. Um, and maybe even a little further, depending upon whether something is returnable or not. So that's something to kind of keep in mind is that we are not absolutely saying that it is 100,000 units sold to the number, right? Because there is some variability to what is reported in terms of what shipped and certainly some variability into what is actually sold into the market. And as you guys know, uh, comics are oftentimes damaged. Sometimes if they're going from diamond to the local comic shop. So again, you have some variability there. So the best way to think about these data is really just in terms of general guidance of what is selling and what is not selling. Stay tuned to the end of this video if you are a fan of statues because I'm going to highlight a couple of statues that are available for pre-orders at your local comic shops and that are distributed through Diamond. So stay tuned for that. So let's turn our attention to the top 10 comics that were sold in the month of November. We start our list off with the Uncanny X-Men from Marvel. This book had a cover price of $7.99 and there were roughly an estimated 176,000 units that were shipped in the month of November. In second place, we have Green Lantern number one with a cover price of $4.99 from DC with roughly 113 or 114,000 units that were shipped. In third place, we have Web of Venom Carnage Born number one. This was a one shot at $4.99 from Marvel, sold a little over 100,000 units. In fourth place, Amazing Spider-Man number 10, cover price of $3.99, also from Marvel, with just over 100,000 units. In fifth place, we have Batman 58 from DC, and it sold 95,000 units. In sixth place, we have another Batman title, number 59, at a cover price of $3.99, also from DC, with 93,000 units sold. In seventh place, Amazing Spider-Man number nine, also from Marvel, and it sold around 86,000 units. In eighth place, Heroes in Crisis number three, cover price of $3.99, sold around 84,000 units. In ninth place, Avengers number 10, $5.99 cover price from Marvel, and it sold around 78,000 units. Rounding out the top 10 is Venom number 8 with a cover price of $3.99 and it sold around 75,000 units. Let's take a look at the top 50 comics that were shipped in the month of November. First, we're going to look at 1 through 20. Next up, you can see 21 through 41 and then we will finish out our list here of the top comics that were shipped based upon units in the month of November. Now let's take a look at the top graphic novels and trade paperbacks that were shipped by Diamond in the month of November. 
In first place, we have Venom by Donny Cates, volume number one. Had a cover price of $7.99 from Marvel with an estimated uh, unit count of $4,900. In second place, we have Thanos Infinity Conflict, cover price of $24.99 also from Marvel with an estimated 4,500 units shipped. In third place, Justice League Volume 1, cover price of $7.99 from DC, roughly 3,800 units. In fourth place, we have Black Eyed Peas Presents, cover price of $24.99 from Marvel, 3,400 units. In fifth place, we have Amazing Spider-Man by Nick Spencer, Volume 1, Back to Basics. Cover price of $15.99 from Marvel, 3,200 units shipped. In sixth place, Immortal Hulk, Volume 1. Cover price of $15.99, shipped 3,200 units. In seventh place, Batman White Knight. Cover price of $19.99 from DC, around 3,000 units shipped. In eighth place, Unnatural Volume 1, The Awakening. Cover price of $9.99 from Image, 2,900 units shipped. In ninth place, Star Wars, Lando, Double or Nothing. Cover price of $15.99 from Marvel, 2,400 units shipped. In tenth place, we have Domino, Volume Number 1, Killer Instinct. Cover price of $17.99 from Marvel, with roughly 2,300 units shipped. Now let's take a look at the top 50 trade paperbacks and graphic novels based upon units that were shipped in the month of November. First, let's look at 1 through 20. Next up, 21 through 41. And then we'll round out our list of the top 50 graphic novels and trade paperbacks based upon units shipped in the month of November. So there you have it. Those are the top 50 comics and top 50 graphic novels and trade paperbacks for the month of November based upon units shipped by Diamond. Now, let's turn our attention to a couple of awesome uh, toys and statues that are available for pre-order at your local comic shops that are also distributed by Diamond. These, these statues are pretty cool. I've actually talked about them a couple of times on my live streams, but I wanted to drop them into to this video just so you guys can see the cool things that are currently available for you at your local comic shops. As always, guys, I want to thank you for taking time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed it.